another day, another part of the process. Cheers. Happy Tuesday. And can you see here? Yes, I've stacked up each of the orders in order that it was placed. If it's ready to go, I have one custom order that will be the last thing. Um, but everything else in the order that in the order that the order was placed. And now I'm just going to go through and fill those. So I need boxes. Whoops. I need boxes. I need. Thank you for your order. So I got one, two, three, four. Then the jewelry backers. Uh, if you followed me a long time, you know I used to hand paint every single one of these, <laughs> but then became too much to do for the number of orders I was getting. Plus, I would rather um, decrease my time a little bit then increase my prices of my jewelry. So I went with this, which is still absolutely gorgeous. I like to put in a polish cloth so I can keep the pieces shiny. The Ivy and Light business card. Now, sometimes people will find me through Etsy or through Instagram on my Lulame design uh, business. And so they may not realize that actually my umbrella brand, my larger brand is Ivy and Light. Uh, I just keep the jewelry under Lulamay Design for some distinction. But so I always put an Ivy and Light business card in there. All of my education is on the Ivy and Light website. Um, support, any of my support, my Facebook group, my YouTube, all that stuff is Ivy and Light. So I want people to know they can get plugged into that community. They don't just have to only interact with me on Instagram and Etsy, right? Okay. Then the last thing would be if they're ordering a piece that I have made the Crystal Properties card for already, then I will add that. I'm trying to add them as I go, but if I get a lot of orders at once, then I just have to handwrite them. Um, but you guys know I used to use these, handwrite these, and then it became just really silly. Again, save time versus increasing the cost of the customer, right? It became silly to be handwriting the same thing over a carnelian like 450 times. So now I have, um, for a lot of pieces, I will have a card that they can get. So I'm not gonna go through that in, in this part because you'll have to just sit here and watch me shuffle through, but I will find in here the ones that I've already made and then I will handwrite any others that I need to. All right. Last thing will be to cleanse and infuse. I use my clear quartz point to direct the Reiki energy into the piece. Um, I use a piece of white sage. You can also use Palo Santo or mugwort or any of those cleansing herbs um, to cleanse the piece. And then I will Reiki infuse it with the affirmation. And speaking of that, every piece gets an affirmation card as well that also has, so this is gonna be their affirmation. And then on this side is going to be their care instructions, how to take care of the piece, right? So I need one, two, three, four. Usually you just let the sage continue to burn so that it can um, cleanse the air in your own space. But because I'm in a, a shared office space, I like to put it out as quickly as possible so that not everybody has to smell the sage if they don't want to. So this first order is for the talisman. I'm just gonna go through the process for one of these or else you'd be here for forever, but the talisman earrings. All right, gorgeous jade and shungite. Wrapped in brass with gold ear wires. And then these little beauties, very dainty. Lepidolite and iolite. I think these have, yeah, rose gold because they're daintier ear wires and they, uh, they matched well. All right, so that's these two pieces and the Palo Santo are all going together. 
So I just need to look up and write down the affirmations and the crystal properties because I know I haven't, I don't have crystal property cards for all of these gemstones. So I'm just gonna write out two of these. All right, so our talisman earrings, the affirmation, I am protected, I am at peace, I work with the universe to accomplish my dreams. I am protected. I am at peace. I work with the universe to accomplish my dreams. And each of these is a custom affirmation that I create myself. I channel the affirmation um, either while I'm making the piece or after I've made it when I'm also channeling the description. So by, by which I mean get into a meditative state um, and really focus on the energy of those crystals, maybe even holding them in my hand, and then what each of the crystal properties is and just let the words come to me for both the description, product description, and for that affirmation. So... That is the description, I mean the affirmation. And now I also do the crystal properties card. Okay, talisman earrings, jade, wisdom and insight. Long lasting abundance. and protective talisman. And then Shungite protects against negative energies. And um, electromagnetic smog so it's often used for attaching to electronic devices or wearing when you're sitting in front of a computer or using your phone a lot. Okay. And yep. So that are those are the main key things that I want them to know to be able to remember for this piece. So I've got that written down. Then I will take the piece of jewelry or in this case Um, for efficiency, I will take all of the pieces of jewelry because I am, I'm going to infuse them all at once. So I can, I can add the Reiki all at once and then I infuse them each individually for their particular affirmation, their particular purpose. But I have them in my hand and then I will do the Reiki symbols for distance healing. So as if I was going to do a distance healing session with you. I am doing the same thing, but into your crystal that will then go to your home. So you're getting that distance healing that way. All right, and so in, in my head also, I am saying the, uh, the Reiki statements. This is actually a whole other thing. I don't really show doing the Reiki symbols because um, technically it, it is a tradition that you are trained in. And so you're not really supposed to share the symbols with other people. So anyways, it's an integrity issue. But anyways, that has been done with my clear quartz point. Now I'll set back aside everything except for the ones I want to infuse right now. Because again, infuse individually. Focusing on that person I'm sending it to. In this case, Emma. Focusing on Emma and on the intention of this piece as a protective talisman and using the affirmation. I am protected, I am at peace, I work with the universe to accomplish my dreams. So both hands here, sending the Reiki energy, accepting it through my body, the universal energy, through my hands and into the peace, and just repeating in my mind as I go, as I'm infusing, repeating this affirmation. And the goal, how I know that it's infused, my goal is for me to feel on an energetic, emotional level, the truth of this affirmation, the verity of the affirmation. That way I know I and the, the gemstones are in tune 
with the affirmation. So that is how I will intuitively know that it's been enough for that particular piece. And we've got, I am protected, I am at peace. I work with the universe to accomplish my dreams. know teachers will say when you're a teacher you learn more from your students than you teach them right so in this sense I've always feel very very grateful when I do this Reiki infusing process because I'm getting to send that Reiki healing energy to my customer but I'm also the Reiki energy is flowing through me which is very healing for myself very aligning so even if I'm having a bad day and I feel like how can I put great energy into sending products, I know as soon as I do the Reiki healing aspect of it, I will feel so much better. So that really is the blessing of running a crystal healing business, a Reiki healing business. So carrying on for all of the other pieces in the same way, and then I'll get back with you when we get to the next step. All right, pull out all my boxes. And... So now we're going to put these pieces um, in their boxes. Now, <laughs> this is another thing about running a small business. I love my floral boxes and they are unique. I actually um, got a piece of jewelry in a crystal shop at, at Union Square mm, 10 years ago. And it was in this box. And when I started my own business, I literally went online until I and looked up until I found this exact box. Now. They're rare, uh, not many people use them, and so they go out of stock a lot. So which size I have in stock is different at different times. I currently have this size, which is a little bit too large for these, but that's okay. And so if it's two small pieces, I will often, especially if they look nice together, I will often put both pieces in the one package. I don't know if you can see. So they'll be like this, right? Okay. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that using my hole punch and then my earring backers to hold them onto the card and also for obviously for you guys to use um, when you wear your earrings. Are these little guys all right so now we're going to secure them in the back all right there they are all beautiful now I'm going to take my polish cloth since I can get end up getting my fingerprints on there while I'm attaching them right and we want them to be all shiny and beautiful Okay. Et voila. So, snug and happy. 
now add our ribbon and voila so now all of our cards for um, the pieces a business card now of course if you're a return customer and i keep sending you business cards feel free to just share them with a friend lots of free education on the website feel free to pass that on if you don't need another business card all right the thank you for your order this actually has all of our social links and um, a lot of information that you can get to in our 101s on our Facebook group. So you can actually learn about intro to crystals, intro to essential oils, intro to meditation, intro to Reiki, intro to all this stuff. Um, so that's just an easy QR code to get there. All right, now all I need to do is write my note. All right, written my note here. Add that in. Ever since COVID, I've stopped licking them and I've just started taping them. It's probably fine, but you know. Okay. And I want to put the Palo Santo in a bag just to protect it a little bit. So I'm going to put them down. Yum. And here. all of it into the bag. These are um, all eco and clothes recycled bags, so try to be as eco-friendly as possible. And then I'll just close this up. I'm gonna finish all of the rest of them, and then I will print the labels. So I go ahead and I write the person's name on the front so I don't get confused. I know this is for Emma. I'm gonna go through all of the rest of these orders and then I'll print out all the labels at one time. Okay, so now we're gonna print out our labels. And if we're lucky, the printer works. Turn it off and on. All right, now just to make that happen several more times. And our final step, unless I'm going to walk them up the same day is to schedule a pickup, check availability, put my note, pick up tomorrow, three first class packages, weighs about a pound total, schedule pickup. All right, and my pickup is scheduled. So that's it guys, a little behind the scenes with me on how I go from getting an order to filling that order, um, getting it packaged, all that stuff, doing the mail, everything. So there's a lot involved in every single piece that I make um, and I try to be as efficient as possible. I try to share exactly what it is that I'm doing while I'm doing it so I'm not having to use extra energy but I'm being efficient, I try to pause take a photo pause create a, a crystal properties card when it's happening that is the the best advice that i can give to a business owner is to be efficient with your time purposeful and intentional with your time and also to give 100 percent of yourself to the process to really make the package something special for the customer to really make um, the note that you write for that person so that it really feels genuine and really feels special because it is special and and they are connecting with you by purchasing and you want to give them um, you know a way to make their life better whether it's crystal healing jewelry or whether it is um, you know some product that is really just to enrich their joy so hope that you enjoyed that let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see what other behind the scenes stuff and i will try to make those vlogs for you guys I'm going to suggest another video for you up here. I want you to go check that out. It's going to be another recent one all about crystals. All right, guys, have fun. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.